Hey students, so it's Nick here. I'm excited to see any senior hires uh, that are gonna be on the online video call on Thursday. But today we're in Matthew 25, and right now Jesus is on top of the Mount of Olives with his disciples, and he's kind of given them some last teachings. And even in Matthew 24, he's telling a little bit about what's to come in the future. So right now, in Matthew 25, he's telling two parables, and then he's also talking a little bit about the final judgment. So the first parable he tells is about the ten bridesmaids, where five of them are where they need to go to on top of a hill uh, to wait for the king to come uh, and pick them up. And basically half of the bridesmaids bring enough oil for their lamp, but the other half don't because they were not expecting that the king wouldn't be on time. So while the other, while half of them are running around looking for more oil, the king finally shows up, and half of the bridesmaids are left, um, are left there, and the king doesn't come get them. So it's just kind of talking about how uh, we need to be prepared and not just be doing a half, like a half job where we're not uh, really giving it our best. And I think that can also apply into our own lives with God, where if we're not really giving it what we got. I don't think Jesus is going to leave us behind, but um, the rewards are for the people that are striving for him. Uh, next we move on to the parable of the three servants, where Jesus talks about how uh, a wealthy man gave one of his servants five bags of silver, another one two bags, and a third one one bag. And he goes away for a while, and when he gets back, the person that had had the five bags of silver had gone and invested it and turned it into five more. The person with two bags had done the same. Even though he had less given to him and trusted with him, he still went and did his best and doubled that. And the third servant who had one said, hey look king, I didn't, I didn't, or not king, but hey look uh, master, wealthy man, I didn't lose any of your money. I, I hid all your money and I buried it, put it in the ground and watched it. And look, all your money is still here. And the master uh, called him wicked and, and foolish and what I really think this kind of applies to us is what have you been given right now what have you been trusted with by God that he wants you to do something with it here like I know that we're all in times of social distancing and most of us are locked up in our houses I made it to the backyard today but I'm gonna go back in there in a few seconds here but what have you been trusted with in this time and what are you going to do with it? Are you, are you going to wait for all of this to be over before you start working on your relationship with your family or your parents or with God? Or are you going to take this time to work on it so that when this is over, you can see, look what I accomplished while I was in my house. I didn't leave my house for weeks, but look at what I accomplished. So I think that's cool. And then finally, uh, we wrap up the chapter with uh, Jesus talking about uh, the, the final judgment and what's going to happen when when he as king comes back and he just goes and this is kind of the section of Matthew 25 where he, where he's talking about how people are going to say like king what, what did we do for you and he says something like when you were feeding me when you were giving me something to eat when you were giving me shelter when you were protecting me uh, I'm sorry when you were doing this to other people you were also doing it to me Maybe I should have tried not to memorize it and just read out of the book. Uh, and the king will say to him, Matthew 25, 40, I tell you the truth, when you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you were doing it to me. And he rewards the people that were taking care of anyone else because he loves everyone as if he is himself. So when we're taking care of others, we're taking care of him as well. But he also says it's the same way for people that you're not treating fairly or correctly you're doing it to these people you're also doing it to me so today watch how you're uh, treating others maybe cut your fights short with your family but what what I really wanted to say here is what are you being trusted with in this time and what are you gonna do are you gonna sit on it and say look I didn't really go downhill but I didn't make any steps either or you're gonna take what God's trusted you with and you're gonna make something out of it so thank you Thank you.